Kai Raila Amolo Odinga, son of the late Jeremy Gogingo Odinga and Mama Mary Emma Odinga. Hereby take this opportunity to dedicate this nation, Kenya, to you, Almighty God of all creation, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, we now come before you on behalf of our dear Mama Honorable Ida Odinga and Baba, His Excellency the Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga and their family, their entire family. We thank you, Lord, for their lives of sacrifice, for their lives of service, for the example that they have been in this nation for decades, and for their vision for this great country. We thank you for preserving them, O oh Lord, for such a time as this. We pray according to 1 Timothy 2, chapter 2, that says we should pray for every political leader and representative so that you will be able, we will be able to live tranquil, undisturbed lives as we worship the awe-inspiring God with true hearts. Lord, from that scriptural mandate, we lift this family and the leaders before you, Father. We pray, first of all, for protection according to Psalm 91, verse 1. Lord, in every place where they will be, every vehicle, on land or on sea, Lord God, in the air, in any type of transportation, Lord, protect them, that they would dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91, verse 4, your massive arms are wrapped around them, O Lord, protecting them. Your arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping them from all harm, O Jehovah, and they will never worry about an attack from your word, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless their going out. Bless their coming in. May they be protected, O Father. We pray again for wisdom, Lord. The word says that we can ask you for wisdom and you will give generously without finding fault. Lord, the, there is a need of wisdom, divine wisdom, supernatural wisdom, abundant wisdom to lead this land, oh Father. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for health, physical, emotional, spiritual health. Renew, renew their youth, oh Lord. May they live in unity with you and one another. We give you praise and glory, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. We feel very privileged to have been invited to participate in this special prayer. And uh, we feel also blessed by this special prayer today. We have taken note of very fundamental issues that have been conversed here. The issues of not to kill. The other one, the issue of corruption. And finally, the issue of, uh, of tribalism. Those are really the issues that we've been talking about during this campaign. That we want a peaceful country, that no life should be lost at the hands of any other person. And that we also said that we want to see this country united. That basically is the essence of Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya that we want to create one Kenyan nation and that your tribe is going to be a Kenyan tribe. All the others are sub-tribes, but you are Kenyan first before you become a member of any other respective uh, community. <laughs> that is what Malimu Nyerere did for our neighbors in the south. That in Tanzania you do not ask somebody to win Kabila Gani. If you ask that question, they tell you, where in Kenya? How Tanzania had to lose it, where in Kabilagan? That is what we want to achieve. And our national anthem says that may we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. Then plenty will be found within our borders. 
That is what we want to achieve. And if you say that the fourth enemy, because we have identified the enemies of our people, ignorance, poverty, disease, and corruption. Without slaying the dragon of corruption, we cannot deal with the other three major enemies of our country. And that is one of the, the three issues that were identified here. So we thank you for doing this for us on the eve of the elections. And we are confident that with this kind of prayer and the message that the Kenyan people have shown, <laughs> that the Kenyan people will speak loudly on Tuesday to show that this is the direction that they want to go. We thank you very much. Thank you.